Welcome to Environmental Cleaning Basics for Perioperative Areas Part 2. In Part 1, basic infection prevention principles in perioperative areas and between case cleaning processes were covered. In Part 2, terminal or end of day cleaning and additional information about environmental cleaning in the perioperative area will be covered. Recommended practices are based on current AORN guidelines. Check with your supervisor if your facility policy differs from the video instructions. There are four different cleaning categories in the perioperative areas. First case, damp dusting, covered in Part 1. Between case, turnover clean, covered in Part 1. Terminal clean and scheduled cleaning, cycle cleaning, will be covered in this video. Terminal clean is cleaning completed after the last case in the operating suite at the end of each day it is used. Scheduled cleaning or cycle cleaning is special intermittent cleaning projects such as washing the ceilings and walls and scrubbing the floors in the operating rooms. This cleaning should be integrated as scheduled during the routine terminal clean. To begin terminal cleaning, check that the patient has left the room. Perform hand hygiene, assemble equipment, and put on clean gloves. Remove trash and linen and remove biohazard containers as needed. Spot clean from high to low, disinfecting any visible residue on the ceiling. When cleaning ceilings and walls for the scheduled cycle cleaning process, avoid dripping disinfectant onto items beneath higher surfaces by ensuring that the low lint or microfiber mop pad is damp but not wet. Clean and disinfect overhead surfaces including booms, lights, and shelves. Use high-reach microfiber damp dusting equipment and microfiber cleaning cloths. A ladder may be needed to reach some surfaces. Once the overhead surfaces are cleaned and disinfected, move equipment into the room to one side or to the center of the suite. Clean the room in a clockwise or counterclockwise pattern from high to low and moving from cleanest to dirtiest. Anesthesia equipment should be terminally cleaned by the designated trained staff. Mop the outer edges of the room. Spot clean walls as needed unless they are scheduled to be cycle cleaned. Move the equipment back into place once it is clean. Continue to move around the room in a clockwise or counterclockwise pattern. Clean horizontal surfaces moving from cleanest to dirtiest. Disinfect light switches, door push plates and handles, mayo stands, hamper stands, kick buckets, telephones, keyboards, and other items in the room. Disassemble the operative table and clean and disinfect all surfaces including the remote control. Unlock the table and move it when cleaning, as blood and debris can get underneath it. Once finished, return it to the proper location and relock the wheels. Fold and refold the cleaning cloth when disinfecting and change it often during the process. Discard it if it touches the floor or is used to clean items such as wheels or casters. Disinfect the entire floor of the suite with a single-use mop using an EPA-registered hospital disinfectant. Auto scrubbers can be used with an approved disinfectant. Remove gloves and perform hand hygiene. Follow facility policy for reassembling and covering the bed with linen. Replace bag liners for linen and trash. Return all furniture to its original position. Close the OR doors. Clean, disinfect, and return all EVS cleaning equipment to the appropriate storage area. Document completion of terminal cleaning on the appropriate checklist per facility policy. Facilities should have additional procedures to clean and disinfect key areas of the semi-restricted work areas. Supervisors should instruct you on cleaning procedures and frequency for these areas, including scrub sinks located outside of the procedure rooms. Clean and disinfect hand scrub sinks nightly, since germs love to live in damp places like sink drains and around faucet handles. Inadequately disinfected sinks may contaminate hands instead of cleaning them. Remove visible dust in any of the perioperative areas including hallways, ceiling vents, locker rooms, behind hallway doors, or on horizontal surfaces. HEPA vacuums are handy tools frequently used after usual business hours to vacuum ceiling vents, ceiling tiles, and other areas in perioperative settings. Dust bunnies can accumulate under or behind furniture carts or other items, including behind open doors in the hallways. As dust bunnies grow larger, they collect other debris and dust mites, 
This dust can contain many different types of unhealthy particles that can be an infection control risk, especially in a healthcare facility. One gram of dust alone can contain thousands of dust mites. Dust mite waste can cause sneezing and more serious health problems in those who are allergic. Dust found in healthcare facilities can contain human skin cells, dust mites and dust mite feces, mold spores, bacteria and viruses, hairs, rodent waste, insect particles, and fabric and fibers from clothing, carpet, upholstery, and surgical wraps. Clean using damp dusting and damp cleaning techniques to minimize dust disruption. Clean and return to the proper storage location all equipment when finished. Scrub, clean, disinfect, and dry all buckets and pails prior to storage. Wipe mop handles, attachment pieces, and extension handles on high-reach tools with an approved disinfectant prior to storage. Place used cleaning cloths and mop heads in appropriate bags for processing. Environmental Services Closets Keep EVS closets clean, sanitary, and well-organized. Clean and disinfect the floor sink at least once a week and as needed. Reminder, wear goggles and gloves to protect your eyes and skin from hospital cleaning solutions when filling buckets and other containers at the mixing station. The Perioperative Environmental Cleaning Team prevents HAIs by making operating rooms safer for patients and staff. Effective cleaning of the environment is the foundation of your facility's successful infection prevention and control program. Thank you for what you do each day to make a difference.